coming to the life cycle of the ameloblast we have inner enamel epithelium which is tall tall columnar cells and uh, in the bell stage if you remember these are the odontoblasts that are the, uh, present on the periphery of the dental papilla and in between uh, we have a junction that is known as dej so between the dentine and the enamel is our dej so the inner enamel epithelial cells they forms the ameloblast and they first differentiate at the cuspal area or the incisal area so first enamel is formed from the inner enamel epithelium to the ameloblast at the cuspal or the incisal area and then later on at the cervical area the enamel formation is uh, continued so in a, uh, inner enamel epithelium differentiates into ameloblast which further form the enamel and uh, this occurs first in the Uh, cuspal area or the incisal area and later this happens in the cervical area the life cycle of the ameloblast you can remember more organo for mera pizza of domino so more is morphogenic stage organo is or organizing stage for is formative stage m mera is maturation stage pizza is p is protective stage and domino's d is dysmolytic stage so these are the stages of the life cycle of a ameloblast now the first thing is inner enamel epithelium is differentiated into ameloblast and this happens at the cuspal area first or the incisal area so if you take the differentiation that happening first at the cuspal area or the incisal area cusp tip if you see these are the ameloblast now the ameloblast that are present towards the periphery or towards the dental papilla so this is towards the dental papilla this end is known as the distal end while on the other hand we have ameloblasts that are present towards the stratum intermedium these are known as the proximal end so if you see a ameloblast this part is the proximal end which is towards the stratum intermedium and the end that is towards the dental papilla is known as the distal end of the ameloblast this will help us to understand the things more better so distal end is towards the dental papilla now coming to stage 1 if you remember more organo for mera pizza of domino so more is m is morphogenic stage organo is organizing stage for is formative stage mera m is maturation stage maturative stage pizza is the protective stage uh, of dominos d is the desmolytic stage so coming to the stage 1 that is the morphogenic stage as the name suggest here the morphogenesis of a tooth takes place that means that that means the shape of the crown and the dej is determined dento enamel junction so initially we have the short columnar cells and these have got a large nucleoli and at the proximal end you will find the golgi apparatus and the centrioles so at the proximal end in the morphogenic stage we have the golgi apparatus and the centrioles at the proximal end at the middle end you will find the mitochondria which later on comes to the proximal end so initially mitochondria are on the middle and later on when we see organizing stage it comes towards the proximal this is about the mitochondria and in the proximal stage in morphogenic stage in the proximal end we see golgi apparatus and the centrioles then we also see the condensation or the thickening of the cell membrane that is connecting to ameloblast and these are known as terminal bars so they can ask what is terminal bars these are the condensation or the thickening of the cell membrane that is present between the two ameloblast now beneath the inner enamel epithelium we have a cell free zone in the morphogenic stage and beneath this is the dental papilla this dental papilla the peripheral cell will give rise to odontoblast now coming to the second stage is the organizing stage in the organizing stage the intracellular organelles get organized and that is why the name organizing stage because the organelles that are present in the cell they are organized in this stage and these are organized such as the now the distal end contains golgi apparatus and the centriole if you remember the morphogenic stage golgi apparatus and centrioles were present on the proximal end towards the stratum intermedium now the centrioles and the golgi apparatus has come towards distal end that is towards the dental papilla so in the distal end we have golgi apparatus as well as the centrioles in the proximal here you will find nucleus now in the earlier stage the nucleus was present in the middle but here in case of organizing stage the nucleus is present towards the proximal end so the cells here are tall columnar cells in this stage 
now from here the cells are going to be tall columnar so first layer of dentin is formed at the terminal phase of this stage so when the organizing stage comes to end dentin is formed in this stage and this first layer of dentin will signal the ameloblast to form the enamel so first a dentin is formed then ameloblast forms the enamel so first layer of dentin is formed at the terminal phase of the stage and the ameloblast takes supply from the dental papilla but what happens once this connection is cut off then the first layer of dentin is formed and the inner enamel epithelium it receives the nutrient supply from the blood vessels of the dental sac see this is the inner enamel epithelium now here we have the ameloblast so uh, no sorry here we have the odontoblast so the once the layer of dentin is formed once this layer of dentin is formed here then what happens this connection the nutrient supply that is coming from the uh, dental papilla is cut off now the inner enamel epithelium is taking nutrient supply from the dental sac so the stellate reticulum these star shaped cell they begin to collapse and the capillaries from the dental sac they give supply to the inner enamel epithelium so they become close to the inner enamel epithelium so basically this inner enamel epithelium is taking now the blood supply from the capillaries of the dental sac next one is the formative stage so in formative stage the enamel matrix for start forming that is why formative that means something is forming and when we are talking about ameloblast life cycle that means the enamel matrix is now laid down in this stage so in the distal end of this ameloblast you will find the processes these blunt processes are now seen at the formative stage of the distal end of the ameloblast next one is the maturative phase as the name suggests now the maturation and mineralization of the enamel take place so you will find the distal end of the ameloblast they contain microvilli and apart from that in the distal end we also see the cytoplasmic vacuoles so here the enamel matrix is now mineralizing so this is the mineralization of the enamel matrix so mineralized enamel mineralization of the formed enamel now takes place in the maturation stage protective stages this is the ameloblast it forms a protective see this is the layer of the enamel that is formed and uh, a protective covering of the reduced enamel epithelium so this layer is reduced enamel epithelium and this ameloblast are basically the enamel is protected by the reduced enamel epithelium so this reduced enamel epithelium they prevent the enamel for from coming in contact with the connective tissue if it comes in the contact with the connective tissue then the desmolytic enzyme of the connective tissue that means fibroblast and all they are going to destroy the enamel so that is why the enamel is protected from the connective tissue destruction by reduced enamel epithelium and that is the function of reduced enamel epithelium that it prevents the desmolytic enzyme activity that is present in the connective tissue from the ameloblast uh, from the enamel so otherwise resorption will takes place and the deposition of cementum will takes place all these things will happen if there is no protection by the reduced enamel epithelium next one is the desmolytic stage that means destruction here you can see the connective tissue is very less so destruction of the connective tissue occurs and that is by the reduced enamel epithelium not only the reduced enamel epithelium is protecting but it is also destroying the connective tissue so slowly now the tooth starts erupting in the oral cavity so these are the stages or the life cycle of the ameloblast morphogenic stage in which terminal bars are present between the ameloblast then organizing stage now the dentin formation begins in the terminal uh, phase of this phase and here the functional polarity reversal is there that means the golgi bodies and the centrioles now are present at the distal end here formative stage means the formation of the enamel matrix starts at the formative stage so very easy as the name suggests formative means the enamel matrix formation occurs at this stage again very important point they ask the enamel matrix formation happens at what stage it is at the formative stage as the name suggests maturation of the enamel that means mineralization of the enamel take place at the maturative stage protective means the ameloblastic layer the enamel 
is protected by the reduced enamel epithelium REE in the protective stage and desmolytic stage means the reduced enamel epithelium is now reducing the connective tissue and this will help the eruption of the tooth. So formative stage is the stage in which the enamel matrix formation takes place and reduced enamel epithelium is formed at the protective stage.